developing news out of Greer, where three deaths are now tied to a Greer apartment complex. We told you yesterday about two bodies found in a unit that had caught fire, and now police are tying it to another body found in Welford. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin has been covering this story from the start. She's joining us now live from Poplar Apartments in Greer. And Kirsten, we've just learned the identities of these victims, so fill us in. Yeah, we just learned the names of those two people who were found dead in that apartment. One is a 17-year-old girl from Batesburg. She's been identified as Princess Fuller. The other is a 20-year-old from Taylor's. He's been identified as Marquez Nash. Now, both were found with gunshot wounds, and Greer police say a suspect in this case is the man who took his own life yesterday in Welford. A few hours after police say two people were found dead in a burning apartment, they say a man committed suicide a couple towns over. Greer police hesitant to draw conclusions Wednesday, but say the two cases are in a big way related. There is a connection between that death investigation and the two homicides here in Greer. Uh, Spartanburg County Coroner's Office said that the individual there uh, lived at the apartment where the two homicides occurred here. That individual has been identified as Tevin Miller. Welford police say the 25 year old was found dead in a car parked on his mother's front yard due to an apparent suicide. His aunt telling Seven News he was the GM of a local motel and that family needed time to grieve. His neighbors at the Poplar Place Apartments in Greer say they didn't know him well. He was fairly quiet, you know. I only seen him when he went to work, took the trash out. He'll wave or speak and say hi, but that's about it. He kept to himself. On Tuesday, firefighters discovered the two dead bodies in Miller's apartment after someone reported that it caught fire. The Greenville County coroner said there were signs of trauma to the bodies and deemed it suspicious. We are estimating at this time people have been deceased for approximately 24 hours. Some neighbors left with fire damage and on edge. It was just crazy because, you know, before that, it was not like we had any commotion or any fighting or anything of the sort. So it was just really shocking. Again, we are just learning the names of these two homicide victims. They are 17-year-old Princess Fuller of Batesburg and 20-year-old Marquez Nash of Taylor's. We did reach out to uh, Greer Police tonight to see if there's any relation at all between these people and have not yet heard back. We're live in Greer tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News.